Hey curious dudes, what's up? Today I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic that is hyperspace. But before that, let us watch this clip. All ships prepare for jump to hyperspace. Maximum more. Punch it. Being a science fiction fan, I love the idea of light speed travel as well as traveling through hyperspace. But what actually is hyperspace? How they are able to travel vast distance in such a small amount of time? Or we may say that they are traveling instantaneously. Okay, so let us first talk about the normal space, that is the space in which we live. This space is a three dimensional space, that is, it has a length, breadth, and height, as well as it has a fourth dimension, that is, the time. So whenever an object moves from point A to point B, it moves in space as well as in time in normal space. Also in normal space, there is no such thing as a universal time. So let the time be measured with respect to a clock whose motion matches the space time path. Call that path as path X. So the shortest path in normal space is the path X. Now according to general theory of relativity, no matter can travel such path, but light can. Therefore, we can say that no ship can travel such path, but it can get very close to the speed of light until the energy required to go any faster exceeds the energy available. Interestingly, according to general theory of relativity, this path may not be a straight line. Actually, it is a curved path because gravity bends everything. Now, hyperspace is basically a region in space which coexists with the normal space with more than four dimensions, where general and special relativity do not apply. Now, traveling through hyperspace is completely science fictional thing. We don't have any proof or any mathematical equation to represent this kind of hyperspace. But if a ship has to travel through hyperspace, it must have a hyperdrive. Now basically what hyperdrive does, it shunts the ship in hyperspace and the ship can travel vast distance in very small amount of time. And as the ship reaches a point which corresponds to a point in normal space, it re-emerges. And the reason why ships can travel such vast distance in very less time in hyperspace may vary depending on how we define hyperspace. Some say hyperspace is much smaller than the normal space where the propulsion of the starships are greatly multiplied or it may be a region where the speed of light is not the ultimate speed barrier. Also finally there is one more explanation which states that the normal space is curved in four or more spatial dimensions. This curvature causes some widely separated points where they can be right next to each other in higher dimensions or in hyperspace. So if a ship jumps to a hyperspace it can reach those points almost instantaneously. Now finally I am going to blow your mind. In this scene, the origin of the place where the ship started is actually 5600 light years apart. Now also the ship is equipped with class 1 hyperdrive that means the fastest possible speed in hyperspace. So the distance between the origin point of the ship and the point where the ship re-emerges is 5.3 into 10 to the power 18 kilometers which is a very huge distance. And that ship travels this distance in merely 4 hours. To bring that into perspective, the fastest spaceship we have built travels at the speed of 7.9 km per second or 28,440 km per hour. So if you want to travel 5,600 light years with this rocket, it would take 21,273,657,913 years. Also, if you want to visualize how the hyperspace may look like, you actually cannot because no one knows how the hyperspace looks like. Whatever depictions we have seen in the movie is actually a creation of directors and this scene which you see is actually the scene you will see whenever you will travel at the speed of light, not in hyperspace. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give a thumbs up if you like this video, do comment and share and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.